Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. I have an incredible holiday dessert recipe for you today and this one is a real treat. We'll be making my mandarin cranberry holiday trifle. Not only is this trifle incredibly beautiful and stunning, but it's also packed with so much incredible flavors, textures, and aromas. It's going to be the most beautiful centerpiece of any holiday celebration. It's made with a layer of raspberry cranberry jello on the bottom dotted with raspberries and mandarin sections and then we're going to make Make our orange whipped cream filling, fold in some chopped mandarins, and then layer that with some homemade cranberry sauce, some ladyfingers dipped into orange juice, get that all layered and assembled, top it off with some more fruit on the top. This trifle is simply stunning. Head on down into the video description box for the recipe link. I'm going to have all the details online, including this recipe with metric measurements. This is going to be so fantastic for the holiday season. Let me show you how to put it together. We'll start with a six ounce package of raspberry jello. Pour that gelatin powder into a mixing bowl. And then pour in one and a half cups of boiling water. Stir this together for a couple minutes until that gelatin is completely dissolved. And to add a little bit of tartness to the jello, I'm going to measure out one cup of cranberry juice. Today I'm using a cranberry pomegranate juice. and then top this off with some ice until it reaches to a cup and a half. Add in the ice juice. We'll be assembling the stunning trifle in a glass trifle bowl like this. You want the sides to be clear so you can see all the beautiful layers on the inside. I'm going to link a similar one from Amazon down in the uh, description box below. Once that ice has dissolved, go ahead and pour the jello into the bottom of the bowl. I'm going to add about half a cup of mandarin sections into the jello. I'm gonna sprinkle them throughout. Top them off with some fresh raspberries. You can also use frozen ones for this dessert. And now we'll set our trifle bowl into the refrigerator to set up the jello. Usually takes about 45 minutes to an hour for that jello to set up nicely. While this is setting, I'm going to show you how to make that delicious orange whipped cream filling. Let's start with 16 ounces of softened cream cheese. That's two eight ounce packages. We'll just beat the cream cheese by itself for about four to five minutes until it's creamy and smooth and you have no clumps remaining. Next, we'll need the zest of two large oranges. This is going to add all that incredible orange flavor to the recipe. We'll zest that directly into our cream cheese. Add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And one and a half cups of powdered sugar. If you want your trifle to be a little bit sweeter, you can increase this amount to two cups. And let's mix this all together. We'll need three cups of well-chilled heavy cream. I just took this out of the fridge and I'm going to add about a cup at a time. That first cup, you really wanna make sure that you mix it well with the cream cheese so you don't have any clumps. In the last cup and then whisk this on high speed. I'm going to switch over um, my beaters to a whisk and I'll whisk this until stiff peaks form could take anywhere from four to six minutes. This orange whipped cream filling is so incredible. It's light and fluffy and that orange aroma is out of this world and it tastes kind of like a creamsicle, so good. Go ahead and place this whipped cream filling into the fridge where it can stay nicely chilled. 
If it stays um, a little bit too long, it can get kind of flat, so just give it a really quick mix with the um, mixer again before using it. This is also a great time to make a batch of some homemade orange cranberry sauce. I have that recipe linked down in the video description box below. This is so delicious. I love a little bit of that orange flavor. If you don't have time to make your own homemade sauce, you could just grab a can of whole berry cranberry sauce, give it a really good mix so it's not all clumped together, and use it for the recipe. We'll need about two and a half to three cups of mandarins. I just peeled these and then chopped them into small wedges. Now I also want to add some mandarins along the uh, sides of the trifle, kind of like a ring to garnish it. It looks super, super pretty from the outside. To do this, I'm going to peel some more mandarins. We'll need about 25 to 30 ladyfinger cookies. These are like the hard, crispy ones. I get these on Amazon. I'll link them down below. Just break them into smaller pieces into a bowl. I like to dip the cookies into some orange juice to soften them for the trifle. Let's start with about a cup and a half of juice, and then you can always add more depending on how much the cookies soak up. And we'll add a couple tablespoons of orange liqueur. You can always skip this if you wanna make a non-alcoholic version. I'm going to transfer some of this whipped cream into a separate bowl and reserve it for topping. I'll place it into the fridge so it stays nice and chilled. And into the remaining cream, I'm going to fold in about two thirds of the mandarin slices, the chopped mandarin. I'm going to reserve some for the topping. Just use a spatula to fold that in. Once that jello layer has set up completely, it's time to assemble our incredible trifle. I'm going to start by adding a little bit of this cream onto the jello layer. This will help keep our orange slices up, and I'll show you what I mean by that in just a moment. Just spread the whipped cream evenly to the edges. And we're going to grab our little mandarin rings that we prepared earlier. We're going to place them up against the glass and that whipped cream is going to help keep them up. It's going to look so pretty. And just do that all the way around. Next, we'll add a thin layer of our orange cranberry sauce. Just spread that right on top of the whipped cream. Next, we'll add a layer of our lady fingers. Just gently soak them in that orange juice and then drop them right on top of the cranberry sauce. Let's add the rest of that whipped cream on top of the ladyfinger cookies. Spread that evenly over the top. Add some more cranberry sauce over the top. Sprinkle some of those mandarin pieces over the top as well. I've transferred my remaining whipped cream into a pastry bag. I'm using a Teco tip number 847. I'm going to add nice little dollops right on top of our mandarin and cranberry sauce. Doesn't that look beautiful? Let's garnish the top with some mandarin slices. Let's add some raspberries around the edges as well. You can also pop in a few cranberries.
and a few rosemary stems will look really festive in here too. This is one of those times when I really don't want to destroy my dessert because it looks so incredibly beautiful. To serve it, you'll want to use a large spoon and try your best to get all the way down because you want to get some of that jello to go along with each serving. Scoop everything right up. Oops. Let's dig in to try some of this trifle and you wanna get a little bit of everything. Some of the mandarin, the uh, ladyfinger cookies, a little bit of the jello. This is like a perfect bite right here, a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. That is one heavenly dessert. The texture is like a fluffy dessert cloud. You have the soft ladyfingers, they've soaked, soaked up the orange juice, tiny hint of the uh, orange liqueur coming through. You have that fruity raspberry jelly and the orange whipped cream. Oh my goodness. You guys are in for a real treat with this dessert. It's so good. Mm -hmm. mm. This cranberry mandarin trifle is the ultimate holiday dessert. Not only is it stunning, but it's incredibly delicious. It's going to be an instant hit with everybody. Those flavors are incredible. Head on down into the video description box to the recipe link. I'm going to have all the details online, including metric measurements. Thank you so much for watching my latest recipe. I hope you have a fantastic holiday season, and I'll see you next time with a new recipe.